Hello, Andrew Bell here. A question I often get asked by my master's uh, dissertation students is about the word count. So I wanted to give some advice on word count uh, and how it's calculated and, and some tips on how to use Microsoft Word for word count. And of course, this will also apply to undergraduate students who are doing their bachelor's final year projects. Well, the bachelor's final year project might typically be six to ten thousand words, um, whereas a master's um, dissertation and a master's dissertation is where the student is essentially setting their own questions to be answered or researched um, is substantially more. It's going to be typically uh, up to 10, 12, 14, 16,000 words. And my first bit of, of advice is check with your institution, because if they have strict rules and penalties, you need to know about them. So go and see the uh, coordinator for your projects or your theses. Um, look for the um, module or the course coordinator rather than your project supervisor. Your project supervisor is the technical expert on your topic and he may not actually understand what the word count limit is. So look for the project coordinator to answer the question. Um, the word count is usually calculated um, from the beginning of chapter one to the end of the conclusions, recommendations, further work chapter. So it usually excludes the introduction, the acknowledgements, the abstract at the front, the table of contents, and it usually excludes the references, bibliography and appendices at the back. But again, you need to check with your dissertation um, project coordinators for your institution. The second thing it will depend on is whether you're doing a, an MBA, an MSc or an MA. Now MBAs, Master of Business Administration, these tend to be very short word counts. These are for students who are trying to learn how to do concise business documents. And at a local institution, the word count for an MBA is 12,000 words. And it's very difficult to concisely get your message across in just 12,000 words. Whereas a Master of Science, um, you're showing yourself as the technical expert, you're demonstrating your knowledge in a deep technical area, you might be solving some sort of problem. Um, then typically there is a minimum count of 12,000 words with no maximum. Um, the local institution that I've been working for has an advised maximum of 16,000, but it's an advisory. The lower level is a uh, set limit. You must do 12,000 words, but there is no particular upper limit. If your dissertation is an MA in social science, maybe in English or history or education studies, there's going to be a lot more debate, um, a lot more essay writing in that sort of dissertation. And your institution might have set a 20, 24, 26,000 word limit. So it depends on uh, your institution and it depends on what you're doing. So how are we going to count these words? Uh, here are some tips for Microsoft Word. First of all, make sure your word count is showing in the status bar at the bottom of Word. Occasionally I get a student who says I can't see the word count. Well, just right click on that status bar and, and uh, select the word count to show. By default, this is going to show the total number of words in the document. But you can also just select a portion of text and then this word count will just tell you how many words in that selected text. And you can also use the review tab and select word count uh, to see the selected text word count. Now, if you actually click on where it says that the word count, the number of words, it will actually pop up a box that will tell you the number of characters, the number of paragraphs and the number of lines. Now, this will apply for the whole documents if nothing is selected or just the selected text. Finally, if you're using headings in Word properly and you've turned on the navigation pane from the view tab, you can actually right click on one of your headings to select the headings and the contents within that heading to find out how many words you have, say, in your literature review or your methodology chapter. 
Now, this uh, might be an easy way of uh, excluding the word count uh, from the appendices at the back. So you can find the total number of words, how many words in the appendix at the back, and you can subtract it to find the overall word count. Now, uh, finally, previously, when you submitted a paper copy of your project or your dissertation, nobody's going to count the words. The supervisor have, have got better things to do. But much more recently, many institutions are moving to electronic submission and online marking, and the supervisor will be able to see how many words you've got and where they are in your dissertation. So it pays to pay a little bit more attention to your word count. So I hope this has been useful. A little bit of advice about how many words should be in your dissertation. Please check with your institution and some tips in Word about how to find how many words in your document. Thank you for listening.